this video we're going to discuss the concept of having a custom input message that would appear to the user when he selects the cell that has a data validation rule. So you can see here of two columns a column having some employee names and another column that will host their salaries. And we have a condition or a data validation rule that the salaries must be between $50,000 and $100,000. So to apply this rule we can select the whole column here go to data validation and then go to settings. Here and then we would allow a whole number and say we're not going to have any decimals in the salary. Between 50,000 and 100,000. And then we can press OK. And this way we would have a rule so if we enter 40,000 for example we would get an error. So let's say we want to have a message to remind the user of that rule. So in this case we can actually in addition to having this validation criteria rule we can put an input message as well and let's say we're going to have the title to be salary and then we would have the message to be salary must be between 50,000. So we're going to put a dollar sign as well here in the $100,000 and we would press OK. As you can see here whenever you select the cell you have this sort of sticky note that says sorry must be between 50,000 and 100,000 so this appears before putting any input in the cell. Okay so you can use this to remind your users of the rule that you put for data validation in these cells. And of course if you need to remove the data validation from the header cell because you probably don't need it you can press some data validation after selecting this pressing clear all or click OK. And the data validation rule will be removed from the header but it will be in the rest of the column. Okay, this is a concept we're introducing which is having an input message on the cells having data validation. So as to have a message that would remind the user of what the data validation rule is. And this is applicable in any data validation situation. So this will be applicable throughout the rest of the course. So thanks guys watching this video. I know see on the next one.